Your electronics are up and running. Cool, that's gonna be fun. So I got those stickers off the boat, revealing how many holes there are actually in the side of my boat. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Holy moly. Good morning, man. Morning, dude. Another, another day of a lot of work to do. I know. You crushing it? What time did you get here? Kind of, I got here like maybe 8.30. Nice. I rolled in uh, a, little, a little late, late to the party. Okay. Good morning, guys. Uh, we are on day two of our, our boat builds. And uh, I don't know about you, but today I'm working on my transducers and my mounts for going in the water. Oh, nice. Um, I was gonna tell you what I'm working with today. So this one is the Garmin unit that came with this. Mm -hmm. It's the Echo Map UHD 93 SV plus transducer. What is the transducer you say? I'll have to put a, put a little link because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do know the Humminbird one uh, because I looked it up is the XHS 9 HDSI. 180T, hmm. This is about 250, and uh, this thing's about 400, I think. They're not the best of the best, but they are pretty good uh, for your money. So anyways, what I'm working on today, Nick, is uh, instead of reinventing the wheel of trying to build out of PVC pipes and stuff, a way to swing an arm up and down, because mm -hmm. I do feel like that is the best way um, to kind of be able to angle your transducers. Yep. Um, you can mount them to the boat or to the, the motor, but I do like this version. Um, instead of reinventing this whole system, I went out and bought this little trolling motor, uh, which is super vintage and it works. Um, I got it on Marketplace for 20 bucks and I'm gonna dis dismantle it and take uh, this clamp and maybe even this pole and use it for this. I might have to get a longer pole, sure. um, but it gets me in the right direction of building out this unit. And so the way this works is this thing oh, yeah. swivels up and down. Um, so you could bring the head units out of the water and put them back in the water. You can even turn it side to side. So that'll give me a, a quick fix and I'll be, I'll be right at it. Making progress today. Nice. How about you? Um, right now I'm working on uh, relocating my horn to the bow of the boat. Nice. It was underneath the helm. You got a horn? Front. Yep. So just kind of relocating some electronics and uh, trying to get all the electrical done. That's like the main component of the stuff I'm doing to my boat. So. Yeah. I was going to ask you, um, it's pretty simple. I have a fuse box and then I have these little wires uh, yeah, all ready to roll. Later. Maybe later we can work together on that. Absolutely, yep. I know your expertise at electrical. Sure, yeah, I can help you with that. Nice, all right, let's get to it. Cool, sounds good. Look how beautiful Nick's boat, boat is. Looks like an Airstream. <laughs> Airstream vessel. <laughs> All right, here's that piece I was looking for. Got it off. Um, seems to be made out of a hard plastic, which is good. And uh, it seems to be functioning, which is also good. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, figuring out where I want this. Also figuring out the size of the pole that I want to go in here. And then uh, mounting my transducers to it running the wires over here and then figuring out how to also store this uh, when not in use. So far, I'm keeping the build pretty simple and I kind of like it that way. Yeah, old uh, trolling motor. So this is gonna be the rubber that goes in between my boat and the mount.
What are you thinking? Um, I'm gonna cap off this yellow and blue because we don't know what that's going to yet. We're gonna te do some. We'll have to do some testing. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get power to it. So I need to crimp on a couple things here for you. So we're gonna put a couple of these spade terminals that'll fit 10 gauge wire, which is these yellows. Oh, let's find a female. They make it look so simple from the front, but look at all that in the back. I know. It's crazy. Well, it'd be a lot easier if it had a schematic, so we'll just have to do some experimenting. Uh, there's a 10 gauge. So where's your crimp tool? Is it right over here? Yep. So this. It's left over from my van build, but I had to get a guy I mean, to help me. They're not the best crimpers, but they work. I'll tell you what, a pinch. There, so I always look through, you can see the coppers right at the end of the connector. Yeah, kind of presses the, up the against mat. it. Make sure it's all the way in there before you turn it down so you get a good connection. And I even go to the next size smaller and crimp that down. Good idea. And then while I'm prepping the next one, okay, just heat that part so it shrinks on there. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, that takes care of those connections. Let's see, what is that? Gosh, it would be really easy if we had a schematic for that. It's too bad. I'm getting one. And this is a one, two, three, one, two, three, five pole switch sure. with light. It'll work for now. You want duplex or just individual? It's individual black. All right. Looks like we got it all set up, plugged in the battery here. And as you can see, we've got this uh, voltage readout right here, 13.6 volts coming off this battery. <clears throat> we've got two switches, one for the Garmin, one for the Hummingbird. So let's check it out and see what happens when I hit this switch. The Garmin comes on, let's hit this one. And now this should come on. Boom. Wow. There you go. Your electronics are up and running. Nice work, dude. Cool. That's going to be fun. Good work. There you go. Nice. Now we just got to clean all this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to start putting this away. Sweet. I'm still working on my transducers, but uh, this was a big, big feat victory that Nick helped me achieve. Power, rocker switches, watch this. Um, one, two. Awesome, and I got two more switches down here for lights and all kinds of, maybe a radio or a, what, what do you have, a? Uh, uh, VHS radio, yeah. horn, I mean you can do all kinds of stuff. Nav lights at night, anchor light. So there's a bunch of options. Nice. Yeah, hopefully this thing does the trick. If not, I'll have to upgrade it. Yeah, you'll have to experiment, see how long it lasts. I mean, see see what it does. It'd be nice to keep for a backup one, even if you do have to get another bigger one.
So I got those stickers off the boat revealing how many holes there are actually in the side of my boat. Haven't counted them yet, so I'm gonna count them here with you. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. A couple little ones, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Not gonna count those ones. Back of the boat, some small ones. Big one, that was the sticker was covering that one. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Holy moly. Uh, so it's a little frustrating, especially that the stickers are covering those. Um, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to patch those. It looks like most of them are from like rivets. Um, from a, probably a previous build. Uh, this boat is from the 70s, so, um, you know, it's seen a lot. Uh, however, uh, those holes are above the waterline, which is nice, and I'm hoping that underneath the boat there's not any more. Uh, I figure if you don't look, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> I think my poles are dry for my build here, and I think my dinner is done, and, uh, working late here it's a sunday night last person in the shop listening to some country music finishing up my build on my poles and eating my steak and potato dinner by myself <laughs> all right let's do it okay last step mounting the transducers let's knock it out Dinner is served. Oh, beautiful. Not bad. A little overcooked, but it's warm, it's hot, tastes good. And the potatoes are tender. Okay, the audio here failed, so this is a voiceover dubbing. Uh, but yeah, that concludes my boat build of my sonar with uh, Nick Wren. Super excited to uh, be showcasing what we are going to be doing with these boats coming soon. And uh, yeah, simple build. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want, you know, the recipe from this dinner, let me know in the comments below. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Cantu. Remember, life is short, so make it epic. See you on the next one. We're going fishing today. Out here. Yeah, you put the oil in with the gas. And you better buy me a cold beer of Swabies. <laughs> go, 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 go. Come on.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. I don't think it's out of oil though. You might burn it.